Spencer House, Lucky speaking. Hey, cowboy. Dad. How's it going? Oh, it's going. How's your thick skull? Oh, it's back to normal, which means hard, I guess. Good. No residual pain? No, I'm fine, Dad. So, what's up with you? Well, I'm just about to order up a big mess of blueberry pancakes, and I was wondering if you want to jog on by to Kelly's and join me. I'm on my way. Hey, well, shake it. I'm a hungry man. All right. Okay. Post office, hardware store. Return these videos. That was, uh, mm -hmm. was Dad on the phone. Uh-huh. I told him I'd have breakfast with him at Kelly's. Have you forgotten? You're supposed to run errands with me this morning. I can do both. Well, I have to eat, don't I? Lucky. Mom, the least you can do is be fair. <laughs> Look, if you kick that out of the house, you can't object when I have to go someplace else to see him. I don't, Lucky. I just don't like you dodging commitments that you have made to me. <laughs> I'm just not, because your father. I'm called. not dodging anything. All right, I'll run the stupid errands when I get back. <laughs> Why does everything have to be such a huge problem around here? I'd like to know the answer to that myself, Lucky. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess an hour won't make that big of a difference either way. Uh, may I say something, please? Of course. I don't like fighting with you. I love you, Mom. You're the coolest mom in the whole world. Oh, Lucky, you haven't said that to me in such a long time. No, it's time. because everything's so wrong. I mean, I, I really, I understand that you thought making Dad leave was the best thing for me and Lulu, but... You have to be able to see that by now. And I, I honestly, I don't think this is all going to get magically better all of a sudden. But maybe, just maybe you could come up with another way. It's just a thought. You got plenty of blueberry pancakes back there. Lucky must be on his way over. Yeah, he'd be here any minute. Uh-huh. Well, his idea or yours? Mine. Why? Well, I could have saved him the trip and you could have brought them over to the house. Oh, it's, uh, it's better this way. Luke, this has gone much too far when you won't even go in your own house. Well, you'll get no argument from me on that point of view. But what are you going to do about it? I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to bang my head against a brick wall. Because the bricks don't budge and all I get is a splitting headache. I cannot believe Luke Spencer is afraid to have a fight with his own wife. Hey, this is not just a fight, Rube. She threw me out. And she won't take me back. And I've asked again and again. Now, what the hell am I supposed to do? Try harder. Try ho I've... Tr I've tried everything, okay? I've reasoned, I've, I've, I've begged, I've pleaded, I've sweet-talked, I've given her space, I've pressured, I've made love to her the best way I know how, and still, I end up right back where I started, nowhere. It's enough. Hey. 
I already know a mess of blueberry pancakes. Yes, thank you. Now, you. Well, you look about how I feel. Miserable, right? Close enough. I'm telling you, Dan, this is one sorry family. I mean, even Foster's depressed. Yeah, and Mom's the only one who can fix this, but... I, mean, I don't know if she will. Well, there's no use talking if nobody's listening. I wish we could go away for a couple days, you know? Hey, that sounds good to me. Yeah? Any suggestions? Actually, yeah, um, I was thinking of this on the way over. What if we could take, like, a, a mini camping trip before school starts? You know, a couple nights under the stars, just the guys. What do you say? Uh, that sounds really cool. I, uh, I think I could swing an overnight. Would that be enough? That rocks, man. <laughs> All right. We'll do it. I'll, uh, talk to Mike. He can cover the club. Yeah. Hey, um, how do you feel about opening ranks and asking Sonny to come with us? Sonny? Can't be that. Come on. Man. I know it's a stretch, but uh, I think he could use the time away, too. That's cool. Let's ask him. All right. Sonny. Laura. Do you have a minute? Um, you looking for Lou? No. I'm here to see you. Sure. Can I get you a drink, a soda, water? No. You... Do you mind if I just come right to the point? Not at all. I, uh, went to see Ned Ashton and I asked him to let me hear the tape of your conversation with Harry. And I bet he fell all over himself, hitting the play button. He cooperated. Well, you know, this tape has been blown way out of proportion, and I don't know why... Please don't insult my intelligence by telling me that I didn't hear what I heard. I would never do that. Good. As you know, my husband and I disagree as to whether or not, um, your business associations pose any kind of a threat to my family. They don't. I don't agree. The way I see it, your associations have affected us most emphatically. We're not together anymore, in case you haven't noticed. And that's my fault? Do you remember you made a promise to me a long time ago? Yeah. You told me that if what you did outside of this club ever came down on my house, that you would end your business relationship with my husband. And I offered to do that, but you turned me down. Yes. I am asking you to honor your word now. You're very direct, Laura. Uh, I've always admired that about you. Saves time. Then I guess you won't mind if I return a favor. Please do. Nothing I am involved in poses any danger for you or any member of your family. That is the honest to God truth. Now, the only reason this is causing any trouble at all is because you're allowing it to. So, in other words, uh, I have hysterically perhaps conjured up a scenario that has no basis in fact. If my read is clear, and this is about how my activities directly affect you, my answer is a cautious yes. As far as the hysterical part, you're not the type. I'm not the stupid type either, Sonny. And I'm not naive about the mob. I cut my teeth on it. I know what I heard on the tape. You were currying favor with a mobster who nearly killed my husband. I was ensuring the peace for everybody's sake. Peace is a fluid concept to a man like Rivera. I won't take the chance with my children's lives. Believe it or not, Laura, there is honor among thieves. The slaughter of innocent children is, is, is neither encouraged 
nor accepted as a reasonable way to behave. Really? Well, my son's already been shot once, so forgive me if I'm not reassured. And frankly, I don't want to have this argument with you. The only thing that I want from you is that you honor your promise to me and you sell your interest in this club back to Luke. I'll take it up with him. Thank you. What about Laura? She paid me a visit. Hey, stranger, how are you? I'm okay. Do you know if my son's hiding out in the back? You know, I haven't seen him. But, uh, can you join me for a minute? Oh, I, well, I'd love to. As a matter of fact, this is very fortuitous. I was planning to call you. Oh, so what's up? Uh, you know that very wooded property at the end of Royal Street? One that's for sale. Not anymore. I thought you might know who bought it. Hmm. No, I can make a few phone calls and get back to you. That'd be great. I'd really appreciate it. I'm sure everything's fine, but... I'd just like to be sure, you know. Yeah. I'm kind of partial to that property. Luke and I were coming through those woods when we first saw our house. I'm sorry. You know, we thought things were so complicated then. They weren't. In hindsight, it was really all very simple. I take it things aren't getting any better. No. Ruby, my son hiding out in the kitchen. No, he went out with Luke. What? Yeah, they went to the club. Is that a problem? Yes, that's a problem. He knew perfectly well that he was supposed to be running errands with me. That's better than spending time with his father. That's not the point, Ruby. Look, I can't keep quiet about this any longer. Unless you want me in front of justice to tell you exactly what I think about this separation... We'd better move to a private corner for this talk. Or I can give you a moment. No, no, this is your table. Besides, I have nothing to hide or nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, here we go. You are making the biggest mistake of your life, unless it was your intention to alienate Luke, perhaps permanently. Have you any idea how angry he is at you? Yes, I do. And he doesn't have the exclusive on that. Well, so he's angry here and you're angry at the house. Where does that leave your marriage? And more importantly, Laura, where does that leave the children? My children are the reason that I've made this decision. Their safety is more important to me than anything else in the world. And yes, that includes my marriage. Luke and I are grown-ups. And we can take care of ourselves. Lucky and Lulu can't. I see you have an answer for everything. Far be it from me to give you a different perspective. But I hope your self-righteousness is going to be enough. Well, I guess she told me, didn't she? Well, again, I'm... I'm very sorry. You know what? Let's change the subject. I, I don't want to burst into tears right here in the middle of Kelly. So uh, <laughs> tell me about you and Simone. <laughs> How's the situation with Tom? Well, uh, couldn't be worse. He's contested the divorce, and we filed suit for dissolution of the marriage, custody of Tommy, and child support. Oh, dear. It must be awful for everyone involved. It is. It is. And at the risk of stepping out of line, please think twice before you let things get that far between you and Luke. You know, 
Even with everything the way it is, I can't imagine us ever getting to that point. Well, at some point, neither could Tom and Simone. hell does she think she's doing? Don't go off, Luke. She felt she had the right. She doesn't. This is, this is way over the line. I did make the offer to both of you. Our partnership has nothing to do with Laura. She can't control it. This club is my territory. Well, see, I, I didn't tell you to cause any more trouble. I, I, I just want to know if we both agree that it's best we go our separate ways. That's fine with me. If and when we come to that decision, it'll be you and me that decides, not my wife. No, 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 no. You that snake eyes. You know, <laughs> it took me about three minutes to figure out I was being hustled. You figured it out? Lucky. All right, the next lesson is the subtlety of the hustle. No. Come on, let's jam. Uh, we'll be back for what, you later. Where, Dad, where are we going? We're going to the house. We've got to get the gear together. Ah! you got to have a word with your mother. Luke, can you just... I'm gonna... I'll see you a little bit later. Thanks for the update, huh? Let's go, cowboy. All right. Have fun. See ya. Thank you. Mom. There we go. Mom. Oh, hi. You don't have to yell, Lucky. I can hear you. No, oh, I'm sorry. We're here. I. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, go on up and get the gear together, cowboy. Okay. What gear? That'll fill you in. Come on, Foster. What's this? You're making plans with Lucky behind my back? Behind your back? That's rich. Coming from you, darling. I don't know what's up with you, Laura. You keep making these bonehead moves. Sonny told you about my visit. Yes, he told me. We're partners. Partners are straight with each other, remember? It's not going to happen, Laura. Buying Sonny out of the club is not a solution that originated with me, Luke. It's not a solution at all. But it was your idea. It was your fallback position with Sonny if things got out of hand. But you decided they got out of hand. Yes! From where I sit, they're just coming apart at the seams. Well, don't blame Sonny. I don't know what else to do. How about just leaving it alone? I'm not good at standing on the sidelines while we just self-destruct. You're going to hasten the process? No, I'm trying to fix it. What, by going behind my back to Ned Ashton and listening to that slimy tape? By trying to undermine my partnership? That club is our bread and butter. Oh, the hell with the club and with Sonny. What about our partnership? It's all on the tape and you won't even listen to it. This isn't about the tape, Laura. This is so far beyond that. It is for me. You knew I wouldn't go for this. I'm not buying Sonny out. Why did you even bring it up? Because you have a deal with Sonny, Luke. And so do we. We have a deal, Laura. You get the house and the washer dryer and the damn roses that bloom every summer, and I get my club. And we knew that that club came in a package deal with Sonny. But we thought that Sonny was clean then. We found out that he's not. He's in with Rivera. But they're on the same side. Trumpets. Send up the balloons. Everybody's safe. That excuse is not going to fly anymore, babe. I don't understand this. What's the point in having a deal with Sonny if you're not going to use it? I mean, what is this? It was just something to, to placate me so that you could get your way? Oh, right. Right, I'm manipulating you. Right. You want me to stay away from your life. You stay away from mine. Lucky! I'll be back for you in an hour. I'm taking my son camping for a day or two. Excuse me, without discussing this... Don't even try it! I'm taking my son camping.
What, did I forget something? I swear. By the time it took you to go upstairs and come back down, you grew another three inches. Well, I'm aiming for six feet, you know? It's a nice height. When you come back home, I'll have to take you shopping for some new school clothes. Uh, I bet that sounds exciting, going shopping with your mother. Maybe we can negotiate something, okay? You promise not to make me wear anything too dorky, and I'll skip that tattoo of I've been planning to get. Ah, uh, great. That's a great compromise. Lucky? I'm sorry. Right. I really am sorry. I never thought that things would get this much out of hand. I never wanted you to get caught in the middle. Well, you know, Mom, as long as we're here and Dad's not, I don't see how I can't get stuck in the middle. You know, in a way, Luz, she's the lucky one. She hardly remembers it any other way. She didn't spend enough time with him to miss him. Not like me. I'm not trying to prevent you from... No, how can you say that? How can you say that when you're the one who made him leave? Dad did not want out. Oh, I've been over this so many times. Look, all I'm saying is that the longer this takes, the farther apart everybody seems to be getting. And now it's like Dad can't even stand to come in the house anymore. That sucks. It's not making it very easy. But am I wrong? Right, so until you guys decide that everybody is so miserable that you have to get back together, I need these little trips with Dad. Otherwise, the only time I get to see him is in between your fights. It's just the way it is. I'm going outside for you. That way, Dad doesn't have to, you know, come in the house. <laughs>